Hello friends, so today in this video we are going to solve a numerical based on heat transfer through a cylinder. In the previous video we have done a numerical based on the same topic but we have only covered the topic of conduction okay. So in the previous question we have covered only the heat transfer due to conduction but in this question we will also cover conduction okay. So through a cylinder a heat transfer due to conduction plus convection. So let us first of all read the question. So what is given in the question? There is a steel tube which has the value of K is equal to 45 watt per meter Kelvin. Okay. Now its outer diameter is given as OD is equal to 7.6 centimeter. So its radius would be 0 0.3138 meter. Okay. In meters it would be something like this. Now it is covered with a uh, with an insulating material which has the value of k is equal to 0.2 watt per meter kelvin now we have missed uh, something here we have given the thickness of the <coughs> tube so thickness is equal to 1.3 centimeter so let us first of all drag draw the steel tube so this is a steel tube which has a radius of 0 0.038 meters and it has a thickness of 0 0.13 meters 0 0.013 meter okay so that would be 0 0.013 meters so the inner radia would be after subtracting from this we will obtain it as 0 0.025 meters now it is uh, it is covered with the insulating material which has a thickness of 2 cm so it is insulated by this and this is 2 cm so the radii would be 0 0.038 plus 0 0.02 that would be equal to 0 0.058 so the inner radius that would be say as R1 that would be equal to R1 would be equal to 0 0.025 meters R2 would be equal to 0 0.038 meters and R3 would be equal to 0 0.058 meters okay let us see it is in 3d that how it will be seen in 3d so this is a cylinder okay and again it is insulated by uh, sorry it has a thickness of 1.3 centimeter and again it is insulated by 2 centimeter insulating material okay so here again it will be same in this direction as well so this is the thickness of the material of the tube sorry okay and this is the insulating material okay now here it is given as its radius would be 0 0.025 meters here it is 1.3 centimeter or divide by 100 okay and here it is 2 centimeter okay now let us further see the question it is given as the hot gas at 330 centigrade with convection heat transfer coefficient is 200 watt per meter watt per meter square kelvin okay so here the value of h is given 200 watt per meter square kelvin and the temperature inside the tube is equal to 330 degree centigrade okay now it is flowing inside the tube the outer surface of the insulation is exposed to the ambient air at 30 degree centigrade means the outer temperature t outer is given as 30 degree centigrade with the convection heat transfer coefficient so h outer is given as 50 watt per meter square kelvin so we have collected almost all the data that is required now let us move further what is it is asking that calculate heat loss to air from the 5 meter long tube so here height is given as 5 meter and it is asking the heat loss to the air okay heat loss to air means the direction of heat flow would be is something like this would be in this direction okay here it is 330 degree centigrade inside this and here it is 30 degree centigrade now the value of k is given over here is 45 watt per meter kelvin and here it is given as k equal to 0 0.02 sorry 0 
uh, watt per meter kelvin okay so we know the basic formula q is equal to t1 or t inner minus t outer upon r equivalent so what would be r equivalent here he transfer first of all here it is transferred due to convection from the gases to the middle surface now the heat would transfer from this surface due to conduction and again here uh, heat transfer would be due to conduction and here again heat transfer would be due to convection from solid to air and here air to solid okay so we need to find out four uh, heat transfers uh, sorry uh, four uh, resistances okay so r1 r2 r3 and r4 so we know the formula for thermal resistance so due to, uh, in first one the resistance thermal resistance would be due to a uh, convection so it would be equal to 1 upon h a a is area and h is the heat transfer coefficient so heat transfer coefficient inside this surface is 200 watt per meter square kelvin we have already wrote it down here okay this is it now let us uh, what would the area so here length is given 5 meters okay and uh, we have radius so we could find out 1 upon which is 200 into area 2 pi l into h okay 2 pi r h so uh, 2 pi r is 0 0.025 into height 5 meters after solving this we will obtain 6.37 in 10 power minus 3 okay and the unit would be kelvin per watt or uh, kindly check it once okay what would the unit now further moving on what would the r2 so r2 would be due to conduction okay from the surface this metal surface okay so it would be equal to 1 upon 2 pi l k ln r2 upon r1 okay so putting the values we have r1 r2 r3 so here r2 upon r1 now after putting these values we will obtain r2 would be equal to 2.96 in 10 power minus 4 and here the value of k would be equal to 45 because k for the metal surface is 45 watt per meter kelvin now we need to find out the value of r3 so r3 would be due to conduction again so the formula would be same but here it would be equal to ln r3 upon radius 3 upon radius 2 so r3 upon r2 so after solving this we will obtain, we'll obtain uh, 0 0.0673 okay now r4 here r4 is due to convection okay so here again the formula would be 1 upon h a here h would be the uh, heat transfer coefficient for the air okay so it is 50 watt per meter square kelvin and the area would be mm, the radius would be changed okay the whole radius would be taken 0 0.058 so it would be equal to the value obtained is equal to 0 0.01098 okay watt per sorry kelvin per watt okay now we have obtained all four required values okay so we need to put this in this equation we need to add all these r1 r2 r3 and r4 and put in this okay so after solving this uh, write write it down the answer in the comment box and tell me what is the answer you obtained okay now in a t is equal to 330 degrees centigrade minus 30 upon r equivalent that you have obtained and this will be the answer okay now let us see another question on heat transfer through sphere okay so let us first of all read the question so in the, here in the question it is given as there is a spherical thin wall metallic container that is used to store liquid nitrogen at 77 degree 77 kelvin okay so here it is a spherical container now inside temperature is given as 77 kelvin mm, the container has a diameter of 0.5 meter so dye is given thus the radius would be equal to 0.25 meters 
Now it is covered with an evacuated reflective insulation system of silica powder. So it is insulated by something that is silica powder and it is a reflective surface. So that will not allow heat to pass in through this. Okay. Now the value of K is very low for this. That is equal to 0 0.0017 watt per meter Kelvin. Now the insulation is 25 mm thick. So insulation is given as 25 mm. So the radii would be equal to this plus. So it would be equal to 0 0.0 0.275 meters. Okay. Now further it is given as its outer surface is exposed to the ambient air at 300 Kelvin. Okay. So the outer temp um, outer surface temperature is 300 Kelvin or exposed to air. Okay. Uh, it has a convective heat transfer coefficient that h is equal to 20 watt per meter square kelvin and the latent heat of evaporation is given as uh, 2 into 10 power 5 joule per kg and uh, density rho is given as 804 kg per meter cube so what we need to find out we need to find out the rate of heat transfer to the liquid nitrogen so here it transferred in this direction okay because here it is higher te temperature and it, it has lower temperature so heat will transfer from higher to the lower temperature so let us first of all find find out the value of q for this so radius r1 would be equal to 0.25 meters and radius outer radius would be equal to 0.275 meters now here heat transfer is due to uh, medium sorry two reasons okay, conduction and convection so here it has convection and here in this surface it is due to the conduction okay so first of all we'll find out the value of heat transfer due to conduction convection okay so r convection say okay that will be equal to 1 upon h a so 1 upon h the value of h is equal to <coughs> What is the value of h it is 20 watt per meter square kelvin so 20 into area would be 4 pi r square so 4 pi and radius out radius is equal to 0.275 meters square so we obtain the value as 0 0.052 and uh, same watt per kelvin per watt now uh, okay okay Kelvin per watt. Now next heat transfer due to conduction. So that will be equal to 1 upon 2 pi. Again, LK 1 upon R1 minus 1 upon R2. So here it would equal to so here 1 upon R1 minus 1 upon R2 or it is equal to 1 upon 2 pi K R1 R2 R2 minus R1. So after putting these values, the value of K as Point zero zero one seven and R one R two the radius in inner radius outer radius after solving this we'll obtain hmm, seventeen point zero two okay so we obtained two values now we have the formula same formula Q is equal to T one minus T two upon uh, R equivalent okay so putting these values uh, what is the outside temperature that is 300 minus 77 Kelvin upon R equivalent that we have obtained. So the value of the value of Q would be obtained as 13.06 watt. Okay. Now, now we have completed the first part of the question. Now in the second part, it is asking the what is the rate of liquid boil off. Okay. So we have given the value of L or H. Okay you can say l or you can say h fg okay so the value of lfg hfg equal to 2 into 10 per 5 joule per kg so we know the formula q is equal to m into hfg and after putting these values okay we'll obtain the value of m so just put these values and find out the answer so thank you for watching in the next videos we will discuss about critical thickness of insulation and uh, 
other stuffs thank you for watching thank you for support keep watching keep loving and don't forget to like and share thank you for watching